water cacti? I always seem to hit record when it's turning into nighttime. I don't know why, but a new addition has been made. Uh, boats! That's right, guys. So we actually need to find some cactus, because cactus is cool. So let's, let's do this. Uh, ha! Alright. Well, let's just put a boat here. Let's just see. Oh, nice! <laughs> that looks good right there. Okay, let's get a new boat. All right, I'm going to row my boat to new lands in this direction. Or probably, well, let's go in this way. Let's go this way. All right, guys, I will be back later. Oh, what? My boat broke. Ah. <laughs> All right. So I'm trying to find cactus, guys. That's what the mission is. There's sand over there and a really cool mountain. Oh man, maybe I'll come base over here for beta. This is, looks really cool. Whoa. You see that's like a like a, a tooth, a fang. Wow. Well, that's a ways away in the future, but it could be cool. And it's a long ways away from spawn. So yeah. No cactus really? Look how hilly this is though. This is extreme hills. This is some really awesome terrain. Well, as soon as they introduce beds. <gasps> a cactus! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, a cactus. Look at that. The lone cactus. Oh, this is beautiful. We finally found some cactus. Well, when we get beds, we can base anywhere because we don't have to worry about the spawn. And then the nether obviously will help us out. Boom! Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what? I don't take damage. <laughs> oh, you have to punch it to take damage. Okay, wait. Two cactus. Oh, yes. So, can I plant it and does it grow? I can plant it. Can I plant it on... Whoa, guys, this, this terrain is so cool. I have to come back here. Hold on, can I plant it on grass? Oh, I can. Okay, that's cool. Grass cacti. Plains cacti. Water cacti. Ceiling cacti. All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Unobtained Guide. It's me, Puff, and today we are messing with cactus or cacti. And I figured, hey, a new decoration block, a new life. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two cacti. Okay, never mind. Let's see here. Maybe I can put a cacti. Okay, let's let's just put one cacti there. It's like a lamp, you know. And I don't think you can get damaged by it right now, but yeah, two cacti right next to each other makes like a weird lamp look. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're going to grow some cacti. We're going to put the cacti just over here. And hopefully that grows. I think it grows. It better grow. I want more cacti. Reapers. Hey, gunpowder. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. It's been a while since the last uh, clip. I went on vacation. I did lots of things. I took a big break, about a week off. I'm finally back here. So, yeah. I've been playing a little bit, but I've been really lazy. <laughs> it's one of those things, when you, when you get out of the groove of something, it just becomes really tough to get back into it. Um, anyways, here we go. I went ahead and finished the sign here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you guys corrected me on a really funny mistake. So I accidentally put two L's because I was just zoned out and I did not notice it because I was recording that episode really late to get it finished. So I just didn't notice that it was Alpha Isle with two L's. And I was like, for some reason it didn't register, but I was like, I thought I measured it so it would say Alpha Isles, but it didn't. And I was like, whatever, it's fine. 
I must have just not measured it right, but it turns out I just did two L's. I was, <laughs> that's so funny. Anyways, it was an easy fix to turn that L into an E. All I had to do is add that like <laughs> L shape on the other L. So yeah, Alpha Isles. Um, there we go. I'm pretty happy about that. I've lit it up completely with torches, you can see. And I d this wasn't actually intended, but these are actually centered. Which is really cool. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's five letters on both sides, which makes it censored, which makes it beautiful. I didn't even plan for that to happen, but hey, pretty cool, right? Anyways, yes, we have been, or I have been busy making a mob farm thing because we need gunpowder to make TNT. You may be thinking, what the heck, TNT? I'm telling you guys, pickaxing is not a good method. Uh, <laughs> Pickaxing is not a good method. There is no way I'm going to do the next project with a pickaxe. It is just way too tedious. Diamond pickaxes have half the durability and they you can't enchant them to instamine or there's no beacons either to instamine. So it just all around sucks. So that's why we're not going to be doing that. However, I've been setting up this so that I can just sit around on my computer have this open on the other screen while I watch like a show or something and then hopefully it gets me loot. Creepers. This isn't doing anything really for what we need. So essentially all the mobs that would spawn here kind of just sit around and they'll get in the water stream and then get pushed along into this area here. And then sometimes they won't even die, right? So we need to fix this area here. And another issue that we're having is basically just rates. Rates are horrible. And that's because of all these caves over here. <laughs> now, if all these caves went away, this would actually work pretty well, except for the pathfinding. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad pathfinding wise. So, yeah, basically, I want to have layers like this up a bit, and then they'll fall into this area here and go down here and die, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah we have some issues so um, number one it's really hard to clear out area and that's kind of why I'm doing this like micro mob farm because we need gunpowder but that's not the only issue that is ha happening because we need to spawn proof all this area around here mm-hmm to make this work now i don't know about you guys but clearing what this is right here took me like four hours no it probably didn't take me four hours but it took me a long time you know and it's very tedious to mine with pickaxes in alpha granted i am in the modern version to show you guys this but essentially what i'm saying is this is horrid okay now, right here, we have this very blank area, um, like right around here. There's really no caves around here, okay? So, if we are sitting right around here, all right, uh, and we were just in creative, you can see we're getting a bunch of mobs over there, right? But we're not getting as much over in this area. You know, there's just a lot less space to uh, for, for mobs to spawn. So, right around here... We should get a really good conditions for a small mob farm. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to right above this ocean here. So basically I'm just going to line it up right here. So you can see that do 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 right here. Um, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. So I have an idea. All right, there we go. So essentially what will happen is we dig down right here. We clear out at y level uh, five we do a kind of a big square we have it so all the water goes into the center we're going to follow a uh, kind of an older design have the mobs come up a water shoot canal to the top here where we kill them and that is the idea behind it so if we're standing up here we're loading less of the caves if we're standing all the way up here we're even um, loading less so yeah the spawning rules generally work pretty similarly Anyways, with that being said, we need to do all that work and <laughs> I am 
low on time to like try and get this video out for you guys so bada bing bada boom guys look at this i've afk'd all the way overnight and i got just enough for ah let's see let's see let's see let's see how much tnt can i afford 21 tnt okay at least i didn't run out of gunpowder i thought that would be the limiting factor yeah so i got a few stacks of gunpowder pretty cool and we got 21 tnt which is awesome so uh yeah that's pretty cool this farm sucks though so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and uh, blow up the area that we want to do this other part let's just, let me just grab some blocks and also by the way guys tnt is like one of those things where it's very tough to use in this game at this point however we have plenty of cobblestone so i'm just going to use a bunch of this stuff Okay guys, so I actually updated to 1.0.8, which added cows. Hello cows. Doink, doink, doink. I don't know what you drop. Let's see, what did you drop? Leather. Nice. Okay. So you can make leather armor now. Leather armor before was crafted with wool, if you didn't know. Um, I didn't see a reason to do it, but hey, we get some leather to make leather armor. Not that we're going to use that, but yeah. Anyways, I have marked out this area here for the kind of new-ish mob farm and if we go down here do, 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 do. we have a ladder whoa and I want to do some TNT fun with you guys so we got some TNT here now let's go ahead and light this up a little bit all right so let's just see listen I believe it should do a three block area so let's see Yeah, look at that. This is going to ex just make things super easy. All right, so let's go options. Uh, let's turn the sound on. We want to hear the TNT. So put the TNT there, light it up. And there you go. You can see it works really well. So lots of less, a lot less digging really, which is awesome. Which I have done! Ta-da! Yeah, this is the new little mob area. Since there's a lot less spawning spaces around here, it should work a little bit better. Um, and yeah, I just need to do all this water all the way up, which is going to be a pain. And I need to figure out how to get them so that they uh, go into the actual water stream <laughs> uh, that's going upwards. So I, also, I, I need some signs to do that. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm just going to show you guys... Oh, yeah, this didn't actually work. Uh, let's put this right here. Oh, what? It's, there we go. Oh, funny. It doesn't like to source over that. So we need four per... Or three per... Um, four for, per layer. That's a lot. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to come all the way up here. And we're going to get to kill him. But, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode because I, 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 it's just it's just tough to do these things. I think I'm going to actually update into 1.0.17. I'm going to skip quite a few versions here just because uh, we can do a dupe, which I know is kind of... Uh, uh. But, guys, come on. It's so slow to play this game right now. It's treacherous. Um, but next episode, when we do update, we do have a really cool project to go ahead and do, and that is actually, um, well, I'm going to give you a hint now. It's going to be a teaser, the zero chunk. That's all I'm going to give you guys. Maybe some of you might research it. Some of you will just wait. And next episode is going to be a huge info episode about that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.